Have you ever found a photo and you're like, oh, I love this coloring? Well, there's a way to take those colors and transfer them onto your images in Photoshop. And today we're gonna show you how to do it. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're gonna show you how to use the color transfer feature in the neural filters. <laughs> it's a mouthful in Photoshop. Let's jump in. So here is our beautiful photograph. We're gonna go right up to where it says filter up at the top and go to where it says convert for smart filters. Let's just change it into a smart object. So let's go ahead and click there. We can hit okay and then boom, you get a little icon telling you this is a smart object. So now we're gonna go up here to filter. We're gonna go to our neural filters. Boom, let's go ahead and click on the neural filters there. And we have this option for color transfer. This isn't beta, but let's go ahead and turn this on. Now it says beta, but this is in the full version of Photoshop. You don't have to get Photoshop's beta. It's just that this feature happens to be in beta. Okay, now check this out. It comes with a bunch of these presets. Like if you wanted it to be black and white, you can simply click on any of these presets and it's gonna process this here locally on your device. Fantastic, we can click through these. But the real gem comes when we go to this custom tab. So presets, we wanna to go to custom right over here and then we can actually select our own reference image. So let's go ahead and select an image. We're gonna go onto our computer and I've got a bunch of them. So let's go ahead and click on this image to start with, why not? I just downloaded a bunch of images from stock. Uh, we're gonna use this one. Let's go ahead and click on use this image and boom, it uploads and then brings that color into our photograph. Look how nice that looks. Now here at any time you can go to select another image. Boom, let's go ahead and choose, hey, maybe we want that image. Cool, we're gonna hit use this image and gets that coloring. Now, here's the deal. <laughs> In my opinion, it's way too strong. This effect is way too strong on this photo and there's not like a fade or opacity slider within this uh, little neural filters. So I'm like, what is going on? Why don't they just give me a fade option? Ugh, obviously it's what I want. No big deal. You can actually just hit okay here. And then you can see, because we made it a smart filter, remember earlier we hit convert to smart filters, convert to smart filters, made it a smart object. So now it has a smart filter. We have a neural filter that we can turn this off or on at any time, but check this out right over here. Boom, on the right hand side, looks like you got these like two little sliders. Go ahead and double click on that. And then we have our blending options for these neural filters here we can actually change the blend mode. Check this out. If I wanted it to be like a screen blend mode for this color, I could do that. Or we can go back to normal and then check this out. We can change our opacity. So if I want a more subtle effect, which like most cases you do, let's go to 60%. We can do that right here in the blending option. So let's hit okay there. And now we can turn this off and on. And it's like, all right, cool. We have a nice subtle effect. Don't forget, boom, double click right here in your neural filters anytime. Just double click right there where it says neural filters, okay? And then now we can go to select another image and then we can go ahead and bring in a different photograph. You can say use that photo, hit okay. It's gonna automatically update it. And we have our neural filters again set to 60%. So you can take that reference photo, that inspiration photo, load it in as a neural filter, and then, because we did smart objects, choose your opacity, and you can even change the blend mode. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a big thumbs up if you did, and if you want to get more free tutorials, click on that subscribe button. Thanks again. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.